I believe it was back in the 80s, and there was a federal measure that went through to reduce the use of antipsychotics in our uh, people living with dementia in the long-term care facilities. Hi, this is Jerry from Touching Hearts at Home here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Today, Linda Heinrich is joining us. She is an amazing expert in Alzheimer's and dementia in our community. She's a wealth of knowledge, and I can't wait to hear what she has to say and share with us. Another classification, which is a little hard to describe, but they're anticholinergics. So if anyone's ever heard of that rest and digest, you know, you have the flight or fight response and the rest and digest response where you're just kind of relaxing. Those anticholinergics, which is the rest and digest, so it's an anti-rest, um, can actually cause agitation, confusion, wow. Um, they can interrupt sleep, and one in particular is Benadryl, a very oh. popular sleep aid um, wow. used in Tylenol PM as well as some of the other non um, boy non inflammatory and uh, non <laughs> <God, no. laughs> non steroidal anti inflammatories. Yes, apparently I'm I'm in that role today. I'm thinking the thing of the thing and that thing. Um, <laughs> But I'm following Benadryl, you, so that's the best or, part. <laughs> or diphenhydramine is its other name. Um, is very it's it's over the counter. A lot of people think it's very safe because it's over the counter, but not so safe in the older population. So tell me um, a little bit about how in the past how we used to handle those with dementia, and Alzheimer's, and those that we're being educated towards and, and understanding them a bit more, like your hands-on approach you talked about. Can you give a little bit more explanation about that? A little bit. I believe it was back in the 80s, and there was a federal measure that went through to reduce the use of antipsychotics in our uh, people living with dementia in the long-term care facilities. So when they were agitated, it was medicate the agitation, um, which actually was not safe. They're, they're very high risk drugs. There is a place for them, but it should be only used as a last resort rather than the first resort. And I think we were using them more as a first resort um, instead of really trying to understand. Many times agitation in these patients is um, a sign of something, an unmet need. So they may be in pain. Um, they may just be lonely and need some socialization they may be hungry or thirsty, you need to use the bathroom. There's many things, um, and they're just not able to communicate those needs. And as those needs grow, if you can imagine that you're hungry and that hunger continues to grow throughout the day, you can get a little cranky by the end of the day. <laughs> and for them, they're unable to really communicate that need. So we're unaware that, that they're hungry. Um, so that it increases the agitation. Well, if we're just giving them an antipsychotic and sedating them, we're not meeting their needs. Yeah. So the hands-on approach is really to be detectives and try to figure out what's going on. And that hands-on approach is a lot about um, use, using visual cues along with our words because they lose the ability to comprehend speech mm -hmm. as well as using speech appropriately. So um, one thing I would say, I'm trying to pick up a bottle here. So, you know, if you have a cup that for all of us says there's something in here to drink or there should be, they may not see this the same way. They may just see an object and wonder what it is. Mm -hmm. So to put it to them, say a cup of water, do you want to drink? To give them those visual, visual cues, then they understand um, and many times I've had patients, once I've done that, they're grabbing their cups and just gulping water because they're so thirsty, even though it's been in their reach and available for hours. That was amazing. Thank you, Linda, for such an amazing and just such an amazing discussion about dementia and Alzheimer's. There was some good nuggets in there. I'm definitely going to be sharing that with my team. If you have need for support in your home, please give us a call. We're at touchinghearts.com CDA. Thank you.